Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. And welcome back to another crazy yet hilarious episode of Surviving Janice Combs. We are surviving Janice Combs, and I want to let everybody know when we come in the building, you must come in and show some respect, okay? We, 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 must, we must show respect. Salute to Miss Red. You in the building. Get your seat together. Get your popcorn. Cody Brown. Salute to Cody Brown. I hope y'all got y'all seats, y'all popcorn. You're sitting in the front row because we are surviving Diddy Glover's mom, <clears throat> which is Miss Janice Combs, okay? And I'm going to talk very respectful to Miss Janice Combs. You know what I mean? Y'all got to understand, I'm going to be very, very respectful, but I'm going to give my truth and how I feel about Janice Combs, Diddy Glover's mother, allegedly threatening to sue Gene Deal for exposing Diddy Glover and Usher's secret alleged love affair. Okay? This love affair is still allegedly... But there's so many receipts out there and fights over cereal and milk that be able to prove, Miss Combs, that your son definitely had to have some kind of uh, um, different kind of connection with Ursher. Okay, so you can't get mad at Gene Deal, Diddy Glover's ex bodyguard. I was just watching Gene Deal earlier today. I watched his whole live, ma'am. And he's, he was pulling out nothing but receipts, pictures, real live stories, and different things like that. You know what I'm saying? To prove that he was there, uh, ma'am. So now, like I said, when people send me receipts, I mean, will send me different things telling me that this is going on, I'm going to react to it. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be funny. All right? We are surviving Diddy Glover's mother, Janice Combs. Somebody let me know. They said, Jamil, did you hear that Janice Combs allegedly, I have to say allegedly for my safety, guys, Diddy Glover is out blowing up cars, allegedly. The man is allegedly shooting people in the face, all kinds of stuff. So you think I want to play with this man? And we talking about his mother. And Miss Janice Combs, you already know. Gene Dill, Diddy Glover's ex-bodyguard, already exposed some proof that you are afraid of Diddy Glover. You are afraid of your own son, ma'am. So what makes you think that I'm, you know, this is pure survival, ma'am. How could you get mad at this man for speaking of his truth, something he witnessed? And Gene Deal didn't say that they had the love affair. He said they had a situation. He said that they had a situation. You know what I mean? And a situation to me, to me, in my personal opinion, it's a love affair. That's what a situation is. But he never said that they had a love affair. You know what I mean? What he did say was Usher kissed this girl in the mouth after she ate Diddy Glover's uh, egg roll, his shrimp egg roll. She ate his shrimp egg roll, and Usher kissed her in the mouth without no duck sauce, ma'am. We are surviving Diddy Glover, and we are surviving you now, ma'am. Your son, if you want to threaten to sue somebody, my whole thing is, think about all of these other things that your son got dangling over his head right now, ma'am. That's what you should be talking about. You should be saying something to your son about all of these allegations that he got going on right now. Diddy Glover literally got people thinking that I hate him or I'm mad at him or I don't like him. Somebody commented and said, yo, you must hate Diddy Glover. No, I don't hate Diddy Glover. I love Diddy Glover. I just don't love the shit that he allegedly post had done. You know what I'm saying? I, come, I remember when I was young and I used to go to the skating rings and shit. And we used to be in that motherfucker, I'm coming. Um, uh, uh, coming, uh, I'm coming. That's when I was able to, to, to be on the skates like how Usher was at the Super Bowl. I was able to ride the skates like how Usher was riding the skates at the Super Bowl. I can't do that shit no more. I'm too fat. 
<laughs> I get on skirt on the skates and then next thing you know, medical shit start happening. I'm like, oh, I'm starting to break down. I gotta take these motherfuckers off. You know what I mean? This is pure survival, ma'am. You gotta think about all the things that your son is being accused of right now. You know what I'm saying? You should be thinking about something totally different. Now, I'm saying you allegedly threatening to sue him. I don't have no proof that this is what you're going to do, ma'am. But I have to say something if this is something that's coming from your team. You know what I mean? Because I've seen you French kissing. You know what I mean? Or if it wasn't a French kiss, to me, it was some. It was a different language. It was a different language. It wasn't English. The way you was kissing your son. And Diddy is 150 years old. 150, 151, something like that. And you got to be every every bit of 600 years old. And you kissing your son like that. You know what I mean? He probably was sleeping in the same bed with you until he was 19, 20. This is why he's so spoiled. You know what I mean? This is why he don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, when he was going through the shit with Cassie, he was still making sexual advances at, at music producers, ma'am. This just came out. <laughs> the man didn't even give a damn about the Cassie lawsuit. You know what I mean? Allegedly, he said, no, fuck that. I got this music producer. All right, I'm going to just pay Cassie off. There's this music producer with a lot of lip gloss on his lips, and I'm loving this beat, and I'm loving his rear end, and I'm going to touch it. You know what I mean? Allegedly. I think that that's, you should be worried about that more than worried about trying to sue Diddy Glover's ex-bodyguard, Gene Dill. I'm not going to let you sit there and try to sue Gene Dill. Surviving Diddy Glover's mother. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is pure survival. And when motherfuckers be hearing me say pure survival, they don't be really understanding. Salute to the people who understand when I say this is pure survival. You know what I'm saying? Because if you see all these people coming out, now you got your mother coming out defending you. And you allegedly slapped her like Will Smith. You don't slap your own mother like Will Smith. First of all, you don't slap your mom at all. But you don't slap your mother like Will Smith and go sit back in your seat next to Jada Pinkett. That's not right. Surviving the fact that you slapped your mother like Will Smith and sat back in your seat like you didn't do nothing and put your shirt back in your motherfucking pants. This is pure survival. Do you think Chris Rock knew that slap was coming? Nobody did. We all thought that shit was a skit. <laughs> we thought that shit was some shit for a movie. Like, oh shit, okay, Will Smith. Chris Rock didn't know. Will got to walking up the, the stage. Chris Rock went to say, hey, what's going on, man? And they got the shit slapped out of him and had to pretend as, as it was a part of the show. This is pure survival, ma'am. You know what I mean? How could you defend this man after all of this stuff that's going on? You know what I mean? You should make a public announcement. If you want to do anything, ma'am, because like I said, you're allegedly threatening to sue. I don't know if it's one of your nieces, nephews, somebody in your people, and your family. Salute to Bonnie Randolph. Bonnie Randolph just hit that super chat. Love how you survive all this trauma. Keep us laughing. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Bonnie, thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like Clyde right now because this is pure survival, Bonnie. You know what I mean? Like, as you see, like I said, my throat. My throat let me clear my throat uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, like this. Like my throat, my surviving Diddy Glover don't even sound the same, guys. Y'all remember how I used to say it's surviving Diddy Glover? You can't, it's because of my throat and my lungs. You know what I mean? My throat and my lungs. This is pure survival. You know what I mean? So I can't holler and scream as much as I want to. <laughs> but listen, guys. Once I got these alleged allegations that this woman is threatening the Sue Jean Deal, I had to do my homework. I said, if she want to try to sue, sue Jean Deal for, for exposing Diddy alleged love affair, because I just told y'all yesterday that Ursha was threatening to sue him, somebody in his team. You know what I mean? People could just be saying this shit to me. But I'm letting these motherfuckers know if you guys try to do that because Gene is giving his truth, God damn it. He's giving his truth. You know what I'm saying? So this means I must I must speak on this, on behalf of this. You know what I'm saying? Because Gene Dill came out on an Art of Dialogue, shout out to the Art of Dialogue, and said that Diddy Glover put Usher in the hospital. And he said, Usher and his mother, if you want to know what happened, ask Usher and his mother. This just went viral yesterday. You know what I mean? 
So I don't know if this is why Diddy Glover's mother trying to come out now because Gene Deal said that shit about the hospital and said that he know the exact hospital that Usher was allegedly at. And I took it like if, if Diddy Glover put Usher in the hospital and put his behind in stitches, that's how I took it. That's how I took it. This is pure survival. I don't got him. I had hemorrhoids when I was a teenager. I had hemorrhoids at least three or four times. And they said, you get hemorrhoids from sitting on cold steps. Because I didn't understand when that vein, it was a vein that fell in, down to the bottom of my ass. It's a vein. Okay, it's called hemorrhoids. And you got to stick this medicine in your butt crack that's like, and, and it just melt in your butt, not in your hand type shit. And I didn't know. I felt like the, like the hemorrhoid medication was taking advantage of me. And I was a young kid. I said, why I got to stick this in my butt crack? Boy, they said it's going to make it better. It's a vein that come out. So who knows if a vein, if Usher had a vein, a butt crack vein come out of his, his, his situation. Goodness gracious. You know what I mean? And Gene Deal was just giving his truth. Just saying, Usher, how could you keep defending this man? This is pure survival. When we know that that man took you through some shit, he fought you over cereal, Usher. We know how bad you wanted that Captain Crunch. You really wanted that Captain Crunch? Surviving the fact that Usher know damn well he wanted that Captain Crunch. And Diddy Glover fought you for that shit at 4 o'clock in the morning. What do you think we think that happened after y'all figured out the serial situation? You understand me? This is pure survival. But now I did my homework, guys. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe and smash that like button. Matter of fact, excuse me, share this video. You know what I mean? Because we must, we must survive and we must get this out to the universe because the universe need to know how Diddy Glover's mother feel with all of this stuff going on right now, man. Your son is accused of everything from the sun up. This man is accused allegedly of having something to do with Tupac, allegedly having something to do with Biggie, uh, 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 allegedly music producers, allegedly Cassie, allegedly shooting some, being a shooter instead of Sean. I mean, this man is accused of every goddamn thing. He's allegedly accused of ruining Justin Bieber's marriage. Justin Bieber's wife, dad, got on, on Instagram yesterday and said he's praying for his wife, praying for his daughter and Justin Bieber. First thing I thought was, it, Diddy Glover got something to do with this. Diddy Glover got something to do with this because Justin Bieber's wife want to know why is he all, why is he watching trans uh, gender porn? Why is Justin Bieber do, watching that? It's nothing against him. That's what he's watching. But they want to know what's going on. This is pure survival, and I feel like it's all connected to Diddy Glover. I don't give a shit. Surviving the fact that I don't give a shit. Now, I had to look up some receipts, guys, on why would this woman be mad at Gene Deal. And I'm going to tell you right now, Miss Janice, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm not being disrespectful or none of that. I'm just telling you how I feel about the whole thing. I feel like you should be worried about something way more than that. You should be worried about commissary money. You should be worried about getting ready to go visit this motherfucker because it looked bad for him. You know what I mean? You should be trying to figure out if Suge Knight could be his cellmate, if they could be cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if any artist want to stay an artist and don't want to worry about the, the executive producers hauling your jail cell, dancing, come to death row, goddammit. You know what I mean? But you know what, Miss Janice? I found out because Gene Deal stuck up for you when Diddy Glover was allegedly putting his hands on you, when Diddy Glover was talking to you crazy as hell, Gene Deal got on his behind. And I don't mean literally, but got on him about himself treating you like shit. So how could you threaten to sue this man? You should be happy. You know what I mean? That he's highlighting stuff that he's been talking about for years. Even how he treated you, ma'am. But I think you mad at Gene Deal because he didn't give you that that uh uh he didn't give you that butter love. You wanted to give Gene Deal that good googly moogly, that thing is juicy. Good googly moogly, that thing is juicy. Good googly, you wanted to give Gene Deal that good googly moogly, and he wouldn't put that right vi that Viagra pecker on you. He wouldn't put the Viagra pecker on you. Surviving so the fact that he wouldn't put that Viagra pecker on you. That's what you wanted. Because I looked at the art of dialogue. I said, let me do my homework. What is Diddy Glover mom really mad at Gene Deal for? Well, come to find out, Gene Deal said a couple years ago 
that you tried to hit that. You wanted Gene Deal to butter your biscuit. You wanted Gene Deal to hit that, split that, and get that good googly moogly. That thing is juicy. Good googly moogly. And I looked up the proof that you tried to give him that good googly moogly, that Oshkosh goulash. And he said no. And this is why you mad at him for real, for real. And I'm just, I'm sorry, ma'am. Here go the proof right here, guys. Gene Deal is telling y'all right now how Diddy Glover's mother tried to get with him. I had to get my receipts to figure this out. This is pure survival at this point, ma'am. Pure survival. Shout out to the Art of Dialogue, man, for keeping these receipts. We need this shit. Did you see the IG line that Puffy and his mom did? And Puffy, he was shouting out Mason, showing him love for, you know, him being a part of the, um, the No Way Out album. And, you know, his mom, she cut it in and, you know, I guess she, she didn't like him shouting out Mace and she made a comment telling Mace to stop messing with her son or whatever. I guess mom, mama wasn't feeling Mace. And Mace is a celebrity and by him having a platform to say something about her son, you know, she would say that. You understand? I don't have, a, I've said more about Mace. I've said more about Diddy than Mace have. But maybe because I'm, I'm not a celebrity, I don't have a platform, and he didn't say my name. She didn't say anything about, and you too, Gene Deal. And, and, and maybe because she might still find me sexy. Whoa, this is pure survival. Y'all got to smash that like button. Did you listen to what Gene Deal, Diddy Glover's ex-bodyguard just said? That Diddy mom, Miss Janice, found him to be sexy. She said that Gene Deal is too sexy for his shirt. Too sexy for his shirt. Oh, baby, yeah. She said Gene Deal was sexy. She was making advances, sexual advances at Gene Deal, which was Diddy Glover's bodyguard. So if Diddy Glover allegedly was making all these sexual advances at these music producers and all these other people, ma'am, it doesn't look like the apple, the apple don't fall too far from the goddamn tree. Because this man... Now, Gene Deal could have filed a sexual harassment lawsuit if he wanted to, ma'am. This is pure survival. Like mother, like son, goddammit. You making sexual advances to this man, and he's trying to protect and guard your son's life. You thinking about your Regina. This is pure survival, guys. Listen to the man say she found him to be attractive. She was hitting on Gene Deal. P -p prayers for Gene Deal, guys. Because I'm, I'm not a celebrity, I don't have a platform, and he didn't say my name. She didn't say anything about, and you too, Gene Deal. And, and, and maybe because she might still find me sexy. Wow. <laughs> she says she looking. What you mean by that? His mom was trying to talk to you back then? I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> Wow, y'all hear that? So Diddy Glover's mother, Miss Janice, I'm I'm still not disrespecting you, ma'am. I'm just giving out the, the proof. I had to go get my receipts. Gene Deal said he didn't want Diddy Glover's mother. He didn't want Diddy Glover's mother. Look, poor Gene was about to spit his water out, guys. This is pure survival. Look at Gene Deal's face when he asked him that. The man couldn't even enjoy his his war, his dear water. The man couldn't even enjoy his deer water. Surviving the fact that Gene Deal couldn't even uh, enjoy his deer water. He didn't want the woman. And I'm going to tell you right now, Diddy Glover's mother, I think that you are a nice looking woman for, for 600 and something years old. You For you to be 600 and something years old, that Madonna surgery or that billionaire money or whatever, you look very young. You know what I mean? And you look very good for your age. So I don't know why Gene Deal didn't want nothing to do with you and the man wanted to spit out his dear water. I don't know. But Gene Deal witnessed so much stuff and so much trauma. You know what I'm saying? This is pure survival. But the man said he didn't want you. So is this why you allegedly threatening to sue him? Is this why? Tell us the truth.
Surviving the fact that you need to tell the truth. This is crazy. She was making all these advances at him, and then just so happened your son is being accused of pushing himself on all these people. Mm, what a coinky dink. What a coinky dink. <laughs> Look at it. This is pure survival. <laughs> she says she looking. What she mean by that? His mom was trying to talk to you back then? I don't, I don't wanna. <laughs> what? What? That's that's how we fell out, bro. That's how we fell out. You don't know? I thought you watched the Gene Bill show, Art. Let no, me, man. Tell me about that. Y'all ain't know that. Oh my God. So him and Diddy Glover fell out because he wouldn't butter Miss Janice, Diddy Glover's mo mother's biscuit. Did y'all know that? Diddy Glover, mother, mad at him because he wouldn't hit that. That's what really messed up him and Diddy Glover's relationship. So I got to smash your mother to do my job? This is pure survival. I thought you watched the Jane Bill show, Art. Hold on, say that again. This is crazy. <laughs> what? What? That's, that's how we fell out, bro. That's how we fell out. You don't know. I thought you watched the Gene Bill show, Art. Let no, me, man. Tell man. me about that. Y'all ain't know that. Oh, my God. Yo, one day, uh, Puff and Justin was in the office, right? And right. sometimes I got to watch Justin, but since the grandma up there, you know, she watching Justin something. I still got to keep my eye on Puff, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't know who security going to let up sometimes and this, that, and the third. So... It used to like every she, she used to have a restaurant, and she used to bring food up to the office and give it to people, right? So this one particular time, you know, she used to always like do in the windows to me, Gene. Why you don't never what you call Gene? Why you don't never Gene? Why you don't like this? But I never even, you know, paid her any attention because it's always Miss Cone. It ain't Mama Combs. It ain't Janice. It's Miss Combs. You understand? I gave her that respect. But she used to always throw in the windows. And you know when somebody find you somewhat attractive. And then because I used to get in Puff ass because Puff used to be disrespectful around his mother. <laughs> you understand? I'm glad they got a better relationship and they got a better understanding because she know I said it before. You understand? When he cursed out, we was getting in the limousine. This is when the office was on 19th Street and 5th Avenue. He said, didn't I tell you to stay out of my motherfucking business? He was talking to his mother. Now, Miss Janice, salute to the 1,200 people in the building. You guys got to smash that like button, like and subscribe. We are surviving Miss Janice, Diddy Glover's mother. Now, Miss Janice... If you are allegedly threatening to sue this man, Diddy Glover's ex-bodyguard, Gene Dill, when he was taken up for you, when Diddy Glover was talking to you like a dog, okay? And you was making advances at this man, trying to get some of his Packer solid sandwich, trying to make him use up his whole jar of Viagra on you, ma'am. When he's trying to do a job, when he was there trying to protect your motherfucker's son, and now he got to protect his jar of Viagra, ma'am. When you are using Viagra, you're not just going to use it on somebody you don't want to be with. You know what I mean? It's you going to give him all that, that thunder, giving him the thunder, giving him the lightning. Gene D Dill didn't want to give you the thunder. Surviving the fact that he didn't want to give you the thunder. And you got mad at him. And this is what destroyed the relationship. And then Diddy is being accused of all this same type of behavior. That's why it's hard for me not to believe that Diddy Glover is just innocent in this whole situation. When you were that way, ma'am, Gene Dill is pouring his heart out on the art of dialogue right now. And all he did was say that Usher was put in the hospital behind your son. He said they had a situation. He didn't say that they made love, surviving the fact that even if they made love in a club, in this club, ma'am, that's their business. 
But the man, Gene Deal, is pouring his heart out on the art dialogue and just giving his truth. So if you are threatening to sue him, I'm standing up for Gene. Surviving the fact that I'm standing up for Gene, not because I'm afraid, well, that and because I want to stand up for him. <laughs> I keep telling y'all I know karate. I was a burgundy belt. But Gene Deal, like, you know, he used to be a correctional, I mean, uh, uh, excuse me, a probation officer. And he, remi I, was, I was in the system for like 12 and a half years. He remind me of one of my parole officers, state parole, by the way. You know what I'm talking about? And he remind me of one of my uh, county probation officers. I had so many in my life from 24 to 38. You know what I mean? He seemed like one of them POs that were, was cool, but just don't lie to him. You know what I mean? Like Gene Dill seemed like one of them POs that like, if you just tell him the truth, look, motherfucker, I got high last night, but cut out the motherfucker. Don't say the motherfucker. Just say, look, I'm sorry. I, you know, I'm going through some stress and then I them sit there and hit me a blunt. And he'd be probably like, cool, man, just get yourself together, do 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 do. But if you lie to him, oh, he seemed like the one of them, like that'll give you the business if you lie to him, if you on parole. But anyway, like I said, man, you he given proof that you tried to hit on him. You messed up him and Diddy Glover's relationship all because of your sexual habitat. So if you threatening to sue him, I'm not gonna stand here and let you try to uh, threaten to sue Gene Dill. I'm not gonna stand here and not stand up. We are surviving Diddy Glover's mother. And go ahead, Gene, with the receipts on what this woman did, the trauma that you dealt with, that you could have got, you could have filed sexual harassment if you wanted to. And then because I used to get in Puff ass, because Puff used to be disrespectful around his mother. You understand? I'm glad they got a better relationship and they got a better understanding because she knew I said it before. You know what I'm saying? When he cursed out, we was getting in the limousine. This is when the office was on 19th Street and 5th Avenue. He said, didn't I tell you to stay out of my motherfucking business? He was talking to his mother. And I said, boy, let me tell you something. If I ever hear you cuss your mother again, I'm going to beat the shit out you. You ain't going to bring nothing to bad luck to us. Don't you ever cuss your mother again, nigga. Gee, but I told her to stay out of my business. Nigga, you wouldn't have no business if it wasn't for her. And this is the man that you're allegedly trying to sue, um, Miss Janice, Diddy Glover's mother. He stood up to your son while your son talked to you like you were nobody. When you are the reason why he's on this earth. So Gene was right by doing that. And if Gene Dill, like think about this, Diddy Glover could have fired him for standing up. So he, he risked his job. He risked his job for real, for real for you, ma'am. This is pure survival. You know what I mean? He didn't give a damn that Diddy was a millionaire, billionaire, whatever the case may be when this happened. He stood up for you. So I just feel like you are wrong. If you are allegedly threatening to sue him or anybody on your team, I'm standing up. This is pure survival. Salute to the 1,300 people in the building. You know what I mean? But you wanted to get with Gene. You were seeing, you saw Gene's halo. You could see his halo, but he couldn't see yours. This is pure survival. And nigga, Gene, but I told her to stay out of my business. Nigga, you wouldn't have no business if it wasn't for her. I'm not playing with you, man. Now, you need to apologize to her. She slammed the door because she, she, she was going to get a limo with us at this time. She just, she just left and went the other way. Now, we was in the office one time. This one time, Justin, her, she brought some food up. And she like, Gene, I need you to go downstairs and get this food out the, the truck or the van or whatever she had on down there. I need you to get out there. I said, and all these people's in the office. It's a thousand interns that could have did that shit. But I know she just want to have, she wants to show that she had power over me and I would never give her no power over me. You understand? Because she used to always ask me to do shit. I know what, you know, she probably really wanted me to do, but I wasn't feeling that. So now I'm sitting there like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not here for that. So she got all messed, riled up. Everybody do what I tell them to do except you. Who do you think you are? Stuff like that. I said, I'm here for Puff. Now, y'all tell me 
who behavior, who behaves like that? Now, Gene Deal was saying that his mother always kept trying to call to get him to do stuff because she had a crush on Gene Deal. She felt like Gene Deal was so sexy and, and he was too sexy for his shirt. You know what I mean? And she was attracted to him and she kept making sexual advances and Gene Deal just kept ignoring her. So she'd be asking him to do shit knowing, look, I'm here to protect your son, ma'am. I'm not your goddamn servant. I'm not Simi from coming to America. Ma'am, I am Hakeem, ruler of the goddamn Zamunda. You understand me? You're not going to treat me. You ain't going to send me me out this motherfucker. This ain't coming to America. You know what I mean? And Gene Dill just was standing up for itself and said, ma'am, you're not going to be bossing me around. I don't work for you. God damn it. I work for Diddy Glover. I am not no male prostitute that you can just get my pecker whenever you want to get my pecker when my pecker don't want nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? So for you to allegedly threaten to sue this man when Dean Dill could have got you for sexual harassment, I don't even remember when he was on this. I don't know what year this was. I had to go do my homework because I said, damn, if she's threatening to sue him for real, for real, let me do my homework and find out what would be her real problem. Come to find out you was trying to get with this man. You was trying to boss him around when he was there to take care of your son and kept your son from putting hands on you. This is pure survival. You know what I mean? And who else would tell people to, what to do? Go walk and get a cheesecake. And I mean that shit right now. Or you're not going to make this ban. I don't give a fuck how far it is. Go get me a cheesecake. And then they come back with the cheesecake. This motherfucker don't, didn't even want it. Like, oh, man, get that out of here. Like, he would just do shit like that for ratings and didn't even care. Like, you know? Like, so, ma'am, you got the same kind of behavior as Diddy Glover. So now I see where this motherfucker get it from. But somebody got to stand up to you. And that's what y'all didn't like about Gene. Gene wasn't just the motherfucker that did for no check. <laughs> he, he stood on business. I'm sitting there like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not here for that. So she got all messed, riled up. Everybody do what I tell them to do except you. Who do you think you are? Stuff like that. I said, I'm here for Puff. Anything happen to him while I go down there getting your food, it's a situation. Puff overheard the thing. And Puff came out and said, yo, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. Why are you always messing with Gene? Leave Gene alone. This came out of his own mouth in his office. And there's people who was there who witnessed the shit. And from that point on, Paul started getting this other dude from my block, around our block, named Stretch. Because he was NYPD to take some of my, take my days. And I just said to myself, man, I ain't fucking with that no more. And that's how we fell out. That's how it ended. That's how it ended. So she was trying to get at you on the low. She was trying to come on to you. That's why she kept messing with you. But she wasn't going for it. You wasn't checking for it like that. You wasn't interested. Not at all. No, I wasn't going to knock the dust off that, bro. Not, not me. Wow, so she wanted she wanted Gene Dill to knock the dust off. Gene Dill, man, if you watching, dude, like you stuck with your guns, Gene Dill, because there's a lot of people that would have knocked the dust off of her. That's like Oprah Winfrey coming to try to hit that. You know what I mean? I know some dudes that need home plans and shit like that, and they out looking for them a fat girl right now, a fat white girl. You know what I'm talking about? I'm just being honest. This is real shit. You know what I mean? And that's Diddy Glover's mother. You got, it's some people out here, it's women too. That's in a bad situation, and they know, look, here, if my vagina can get me there, I'm going to go there. I'm not saying that's what you should do, but it's some dudes just like that that's looking for somewhere to parole at. If Miss Janice, Miss Janice, you watching this, I know some dudes that need home plans right now. So if you hit me up, me and you can make peace. I got some dudes that want to come home from Greatest uh, State Prison, uh, Rockview, <laughs> Albion State Prison. <laughs> Uh, Pond Grove, that's where the young guys is at. Hit you in the head with a lock and a sock. They want to come home. <laughs> and they'll do anything for a home plan. <laughs> Gene Dill said, no, I'm not knocking the dust off of her. So this is this is starting to seem like it's really targeted. If you did this, ma'am, if you allegedly threatened to sue him, if you didn't, I apologize. I jumped into conclusion. I just read, took what they told me on Instagram and just came. You know what I'm saying? But if you did, this is how I feel, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people that agree with me too. You should be worried about something totally different. Your son got too much shit over his head. 
There is so many more uh, uh, lawsuits and other shit coming out. I'm so, I'm sorry. It just looks like it's gonna go criminal. If anybody don't believe that shit, <laughs> it looks like it's something. They're gonna find something, even if Diddy don't get found guilty for it. There's gonna be like some footage with him. In my opinion, just my thought, walking in handcuffs. We know he gonna bail right out. But we're going to see that footage, and it's going to be all over the news. This is just my thought, because it's just too much stuff. And a lot of the stuff has got, like, criminal attached to it. You know what I mean? Because some of the things he being accused of, man, oh, just, I would have been in jail. <laughs> I would have been already dug in already. <laughs> I would have been classified. They would have sent me on my block already. <laughs> They'd have been sending me to other counties that I may have had some fines or some shit in. You know what I mean? I would have been going on red, all kinds of shit. That's why I'm glad I'm not on state parole. I'm not on probation. I'm not in the system at all. I had a 12-year sentence, and I maxed out 2000 and, um, 2018. You know what I mean? I caught my case when I was 24. Didn't get off until I was fucking 38. That's how serious that system is. <laughs> it's a billion-dollar business, baby. I don't play no games with them motherfuckers. Now, do I still owe restitution? Yes, it was a victim in my case. Hell to the year. I owe like 32000 <laughs> Know what I'm saying? But this is pure survival, man. I'm glad Gene Dill survived Diddy Glover's mother. You know what I'm saying? Um, sexual advances. You see that if the man was in, in, into it for the money, he would have knocked the dust off of her, like he said, that she wanted him to do. Or he could have got you for sexual harassment. So you know he clearly was not even thinking about the money. <laughs> at all. So she was trying to get at you on the low. She was trying to come on to you. That's why she kept messing with you. But she wasn't going for it. You wasn't checking for it like that. You wasn't interested. Not at all. No, I wasn't going to knock the dust off that, bro. Not, not me. You didn't find her attractive? No. Not at all. He didn't find her attractive. So to me, I feel like that's what she mad at. And the reason why I feel like she's um the reason why I feel like she's so mad is about what Gene said on the Art of Dialogue yesterday. The shit he said about Usher going to the hospital, because all of a sudden, now you are threatening to sue him. Because that was some big shit he said <laughs> that nobody knew about. Nobody, you can make money the hard nobody way as a fighter or save money with Nobody knew that Usher allegedly was in the hospital. Well, I can't say allegedly. He said he was. I believe what Gene said. <laughs> I ain't even going to front. I believe him. <laughs> they swept that shit under the rug. But now you all of a sudden, because of what he said yesterday on the Art of Dialogue, you know what I mean? For the people who didn't hear what he said about Usher, let's take a trip down the memory lane. Look at this lane. lawsuit, right? Luteron, he alleges that, you know, Diddy told him personally that he had sex with Usher. And when you look at the lawsuit, even though they got Usher's name redacted, you could tell who it is because they described him as the guy that performed at the Super Bowl. Right. So, I mean, we all know who that is, but how you feel about that, man? Well, I mentioned that earlier that he said about Stevie J. The Usher part, that that's a touchy situation, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I had a certain feeling and I, I felt a certain way when Usher got on Shay Shay and I don't mean to mention other people's platforms, but he got on Shay Shay and he mentioned how great and how good Puff taught him and everything. You know what I'm saying? About the business. Right? I know and people know that was around that in that time that Puff and Usher did have a situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. Now, now ma'am, he did not say that they had a love affair. I believe they did. <laughs> There's a lot of videos out there proving it. Well, at least made me convince me. He said that they had a situation. So whatever a situation is, ma'am, that's what you should be mad at. But this is why Diddy Glover's mother, to me, I feel like she's allegedly threatening to sue him because nobody knew that Usher was in the hospital behind Diddy Glover getting them butt stitches, in my opinion. I know and people know that was around that in that time 
that Puff and Usher did have a situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. Now, I let Usher explain that to y'all. I let Usher tell that story. But how dare you say a man that groomed you, you're going to give him a pass. Bro, you know I know. Let me, re let, let me reframe you on something. Remember, Usher, we was at the Swiss Hotel. Puff was had Kim in the room. Had one of Keith Sweat's baby mothers in the in in the uh the big room outside the master bedroom. He came outside in his robe. He came outside in his robe. She gave him a fellatio right there. His back was turned to me. She gave him a fellatio. You knocked on the door. I came and opened the door for you. Puff went in the room. You came in the room and kissed that girl dead in the mouth. Wow. This is pure survival. Salute to the 1,700 people in the building. We got another almost 1,800 people in the building. We are surviving Diddy Glover mother, Miss Janice. Miss Janice, that was crazy. That your son would get his pecker uh, swallowed and Usher would come out and kiss her in the mouth. Gene Deal witnessed that. So you want to allegedly sue him for just being honest? Name another nigga hot. I'm just being honest. This is crazy, guys. We are surviving uh, a Mrs. Janice. This is crazy. Gene Deal stuck up for you. Diddy X Bodyguard been sticking up for you since the 90s, ma'am. So this is it just blows my mind. You guys got to smash that like button, guys, and, and, and subscribe. The like, look how many motherfuckers. There's almost 2,000 people watching right now. Those likes got to match. So YouTube, no. Damn, it's 17, all these people, thousands of motherfuckers watching right now. You know what I mean? And I'm sticking up with Gene. I don't care what nobody say. You know, if Gene was in it for the money, guys, think about this. He could have got uh, Diddy Mom for sexual harassment which a lot of people are threatening, well, not threatening, they are suing Diddy for sexual, uh, you know, uh, allegations. If he was in it for the money, how many people you know that if his mom was hitting on them, first of all, most of the dudes I know that I grew up with would have hit that. They would have gave her exactly what the fuck she wanted. <laughs> I'm talking about they would been driving around and all the latest shit. I'm like, nigga, you just came home, you just did 15 years, how'd you get that motherfucker made back? Oh, man, I just fucked Diddy Mom. You know what I mean? Dudes would have done it. Diddy, I'm not even going to front. It would have been all kinds of shit, like weird shit happening around the mansion. You wouldn't have been able to trust nothing. Your mom would have gave up too much information. These aren't the people you want to give up too much information to. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? This is pure survival. I can't make this shit up. I know motherfuckers that'll hit that just to get shit. You know what I mean? And take over. Fuck your credit up. You know what I mean? Now, I don't be with these dudes no more, but they still love me enough. I still love them from a distance. You know what I mean? Because we ain't into the same type of thing anymore. I know you got to distance yourself. People, places, things, especially if you don't want to go back to prison. You know what I mean? But this is what he disclosed about your son's alleged behavior. And this ain't allegedly. This is something he saw. I know Usher had to be sitting back like, oh, shit, that just burned. I'm going to have to let it burn. Because he said, I'm the one who opened the door for you. You can't dispute a situation when he was there. I opened the door. I saw this with my own two eyes. Don't you think that's crazy when a motherfucker try to tell you not to believe your own eyes? You be like, hold on, you telling me I'm not supposed to believe what the fuck I just saw in these eyes, like these ones, these sober eyes. No pills, no drugs, no alcohol, no weed, no nothing. I'm not supposed to believe my own two motherfuckers? Oh, no. This is pure survival at this point. But this is what you mad about, ma'am, and I'm not just going to let you sit there and allegedly threaten to sue Gene when he took up for you. I, I just I just don't know how to take that, ma'am. And he just told, he just spoke Ratio. his truth. You knocked on the door. I came and opened the door for you. Puff went in the room. You came in the room and kissed that girl dead in the mouth. Wow. Now I'm telling that because you take enough of somebody that you know and a lot of more people know. 
didn't do you right when you was at Diddy Camp. And the same thing Gene Dill just told Usher, that he don't understand why he's trying to take up for Diddy when you know damn well you went through some weird shit at Diddy's camp, the same reason why you won't send your kids. That's the same thing for Miss Janice. He's like, look, I stopped your son from disrespecting you. You know what I'm saying? In front of my face. And you're taking up for him. Diddy got some kind of hold on these people. And they just don't. I mean, this is crazy, guys. Y'all put it together. And what you mean by Diddy Cal? Remember? He was on. Um, Howard Stern. One of the talk shows. The white guy with the curly hair. What's his name? Um, the white guy with the curly hair. How and he said, yo, would you send your son to Diddy Camp? And I just said, no, no. Ask him why he won't send him to Diddy Camp. But yet still, you praise him. Damn, man. And you said that, I know you can't go into detail, but you said that um, it was a situation where Diddy sent him to the hospital? Let Usher explain that to you. Let us, your mom, explain that to you. And the hospital was in Scarsdale, New York. <laughs> wow, that's deep. That's deep. We must meditate, guys. We must meditate. We are surviving Diddy Glover's mother, Miss Janice. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Mm, come and see. We we must meditate. This is during survival. We got fifteen hundred people, and we meditating. The moon is dancing. Come and see. The moon is men see. Come and see. This is America. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see, the moon is dancing. Come and see, the moon is come and see. See, the moon is dancing. Come and see, the moon is dancing. Come and see, the moon. Come along, my brother. See, moon. Come along, my sister. See, the moon is my sister. Come along, guy, back. This dancing. See, the moon is dancing. Come and see. This is pure survival. This is pure survival. Any time that we must meditate during survival, that's when you know it's a serious survival kit. Usually we meditate in the beginning of the show. That's how you know that this is pure survival. I had to meditate for us all. Surviving the fact that I had to meditate for us all. Miss Janice, I'm so disappointed. I am so disappointed. Surviving the fact that I'm disappointed. This man tried to help you and, and, and help you survive Diddy Glover. But I get the fact that, okay, it's your son. This is why you want to defend him. I get that in, in, in a sense. But you know your son is definitely a bad boy. If you don't know and the whole world know, something's wrong with that, man. You know what I'm talking about? That Take that, take that. Everything Diddy Glover ever said before, we got to think about the shit now. We have to think about it. We got to be like, oh, shit, okay. He said, take that and take that and take that. And then all this shit came out. You're like, wow, that motherfucker really meant that shit. Like, we got to overthink shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then you can hate me now, but I won't stop now. It's like, look, I don't even care if you hate me because I can't stop now. I got to think twice about the music now. <laughs> Mama always told me so one day it would happen, but she never told me when. She told me it would happen when I was much older. She told you it was going to happen, dude. So she told you one day, you keep doing this shit, Diddy Glover. It's going to all come down crashing on you. You know what I mean? But Gene was sticking up for her for a long time, so I'm actually told disappointed. Me. You know what I mean? Salute to Stacy, So serious. Stacy, So serious. Just hit that super chat. She says, sending you belated birthday love from Sister Serious. Oh, my God. As we are surviving the diddler. <laughs> and the whole, oh, my God. Thank you so much. This is pure survival at this point, man. 
And uh, oh my God, I want to salute to this something hood something. I got to look at this woman. You know, she sent me uh, a cash app to a, a beautiful, lovely, out of nowhere for my birthday. She said uh, in the cash app, it said, sister something, hood something. Salute to you. Salute to everybody that's showing love, man. This is pure survival. Um, but Gene was taken up for you in that weird relationship. You kissing your son. It's been weird from the beginning, ma'am. So if you trying to allegedly trying to sue this man, I hope that this live make you change your mind. Because it's going to make you look stupid and crazy. Make you look just as psychotic as your son. I saw this coming with Cassie and the way he treated women when he slapped his mother. And I was like, he did what? So I did this nigga told my he won receipts. Let's start with your mother. Your mother got the receipts, nigga. Thing is in your mother's name. That's the one who got the receipts. <laughs> See, this is the problem, Miss Janice. <laughs> Miss Janice, Miss Janice, Miss Janice. With all due respect, because I'm not disrespecting you, ma'am, but the reason why your son is like this, the man is 150, between 150 and 151 years old. You are at least about 500 to 600 years old. There's no way that y'all should be kissing under the mistletoe. Why are y'all kissing under a mistletoe? Surviving the fact that you're kissing your own mother under the mistletoe and you're kissing your own son under the mistletoe, ma'am. This is weird to us all. Now, shout out to the mothers who still kiss their children, whatever the case may be, if that's the way you love on, on your child. But I'm doing the cheek. I'm doing that shit, the forehead, the, the cheek, the forehead, the five head, one of them heads. But not this. This is different. I'm different. Yes, I'm different. Pull up to the scene, kissing my mom on the lips. Pull up to the scene, kissing my mom on the lips. This is crazy, guys. We're surviving Mrs. Janice and Diddy Glover's uh, kiss under the mistletoe. You see the mistletoe right there. You know what I mean? And it's not even Christmas. And they kissing under the mistletoe. You know what I mean? But this is why your son is so spoiled. And you defend him and take up for him constantly, even when he's being accused of all the most hideous shit. Now, you're supposed to, okay, defend your kid, but you're supposed to get on his ass. Like, all right, now, I done heard one too many goddamn things. I'm going to sit down with one of my kids. Now, listen, you ain't going to get accused about 50 to 60 times of different motherfuckers. Just tell me how much you done, and we're going to see what we can do. And you better stop for right now. Don't ever do that shit again. Like, you, you that's what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Did not taken up for this man. And Gene Dill, Diddy Glover's ex-bodyguard, was taken up for you for him allegedly slapping you. Since the 90s, like I said, the man was taken up for you even now. Talking about Diddy Glover swinging on you. That's crazy. Who slaps their mother like Will Smith? We Listen, y'all got to smash that like button, guys. This is pure survival at this point. Gene Deal has shared some revealing information about Diddy and his mother, Janice. He disclosed that Diddy had been physically aggressive towards his mother in the past. Rumors have circulated suggesting that Janice might have been involved in dubious activities, potentially exploiting young women. A reemerged video featuring Diddy's former artist, Mace, implies that Janice might possess evidence incriminating Diddy. This is the part of why he do the things that he do to women, bro. Because if you do that type of thing to your mother, you know, I heard him curse his mother. This raises questions about the nature of their relationship and its potential influence on Diddy's behavior. Diddy has faced serious allegations over the years, including assault, exploitation, and trafficking. Many are trying to understand the origins of Diddy's actions, speculating whether his upbringing or inherent nature is responsible. Some suggest that Janice's intense ambition for Diddy to succeed might have influenced her tolerance of his aggressive behavior. Diddy's early life was marked by tragedy, with his father, Melvin, being killed when Diddy was just two years old. Janice, a former model turned teacher's assistant, was deeply devoted to Diddy, often overshadowing her relationship with her daughter, Keisha. Despite their close bond, recent revelations have raised concerns about the values and lessons Diddy might have learned from Janice. The claims about Janice's involvement in organizing events potentially exploiting young women have added another layer of complexity to the situation. 
These allegations, if true, further raise questions about the influence Janice might have had on Diddy's treatment of women. Recent legal challenges against Diddy have intensified these concerns, especially considering he has four daughters. In summary, the information shared by Jean Deal has sparked discussions about the dynamics between Diddy and Janice and their potential impact on Diddy's behavior. The allegations against Diddy and Janice have led to widespread speculation about the origins of Diddy's actions and the nature of their relationship. When Diddy was merely two years old, his father Melvin was fatally shot while inside his car on Central Park West. The case remains unsolved, but there are theories suggesting Melvin might have been targeted due to his alleged role as a police informant. Meanwhile, Janice Combs showered her affection on Diddy, seemingly more than on her daughter, Keisha. Diddy has always publicly acknowledged his close bond with his mother, expressing gratitude for her guidance in his speeches. Yet, given the serious accusations against Diddy, many are left wondering about the values and teachings Janice imparted to him. Rumors suggest that some of Diddy's controversial behaviors may have been influenced by Janice. Contrary to claims about her modeling career, there's scant evidence to support it. Instead, whispers suggest that Janice might have been involved in organizing events that purported to be fashion shows, but were possibly fronts for connecting young women with questionable individuals. There are even unverified reports suggesting that a serious incident involving a minor at one of these events led to its shutdown, although Janice was not formally charged. If these rumors hold any truth, it raises questions about the environment in which Diddy was raised and its potential impact on his treatment of women. See, so Miss Janet, you got a lot of stuff and skeletons that was in your closet, allegedly. I'm listening and hearing all of these receipts, and I'm listening. I'm like, wow, you got a lot of stuff. Some creepy, crazy things that they saying about you, Miss Janet, down to the white nails, down to you possibly not being his real mother. All this stuff that I don't know. I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's not his real mother. I'm saying the kissing under the mistletoe was kind of different. But it's a lot of things they said about you, being a, a pimp and, and all kinds of shit, ma'am. It's just a lot of Diddy Glover's behavior inside of you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you just can't get mad at Gene Dill from just giving his truth. Like, when he could have when he could have filed sexual harassment on you, ma'am. This is pure survival at this point. The controversies surrounding Diddy have further escalated with allegations from Cassie about course of behavior and subsequent legal challenges involving a minor. The fact that Diddy is a father to four daughters adds another layer of concern to these allegations. In fact, the twin daughters he shares with the late Kim Porter, Delilah Starr, and Jess James just turned 17 earlier this month. So with all these allegations about Diddy and his mother Janice, trafficking young women are true. It really makes you wonder what kind of influence they have on the girls in the family. Delilah and Jess have already received backlash for sharing inappropriate photos on Instagram, despite being just seven, and when they recently shared these photos from a vacation. A lot of fans jumped to the comments to say this is not okay. These pictures are too grown and not age appropriate. One fan commented, their daddy got them around city girls, and this is the problem. And another person wrote the industry children have to be sold out to there are not exempt. This is sad. Kim is rolling in her grave because she kept them age appropriate. The father allows the industry to over his daughter's sat. And this wasn't even the first time Diddy's twins were called out over revealing outfits for their 16th birthday party. They were matching sets that looked completely inappropriate, with some fans even comparing. It's a Playboy Bunny outfit now going back to the twins, Grandma Janice. She allegedly encouraged Diddy to do whatever it took to climb the ladder, even if it meant getting down on his knees for his mentor, Clyde Davis. Janice was allegedly involved in Diddy's climb to the top from the start, and when Diddy started showing signs of anger issues and disturbing personality traits, not only did Janice refuse to get him help, but word on the street is that she encouraged him to be ruthless and step on others. What's even more bizarre is that Janice didn't even do anything when Diddy turned her anger on her and Diddy's bodyguard, Jean Deal, recently revealed that Diddy used to slap Janice. He told me he should have saw this coming with Cassie and the way he treated women when he slapped his mother. And I was like, he did what? In a new interview on The Art of Dialogue, Jean revealed that former Bad Boy Records president Kurt Burroughs told him he witnessed Diddy smack Janice. According to Jean, he previously witnessed Diddy verbally disrespecting his mother and calling her every name in the book. This is the part of why he do the things that he do to women, bro. Because if you do that type of thing to your mother, 
You know, I heard him curse his mother. However, he didn't know he used to put his hands on her. And as Jean pointed out, it's no wonder that he treated all his women in his life with disrespect. Because if he is ready to slap his own mother, then there's a note Ellen what he can do to other women. But this isn't the only thing Jean revealed about Diddy's mom. Somebody should have whooped his ass way back then. When you do your mother like that, you don't care about no woman in the street. And he was like, I know Jean, but he was just a kid. This came from Kirk Burrow's mouth himself. I was like, yo, that shit is crazy. Had I known that back then, yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't have worked for no dude like that, man. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't even f with him. I'd have told all the dudes in the same game, and we probably would have beat the shit out of him when he came around. In another, yo, this is crazy, guys. I mean, I'm just, you know, it's just very heart. It's, it's like very, it's very heart wrenching. The fact that Gene Dill stuck his job on the line, stood up to your son Diddy Glover, with his crazy, vicious behavior. And you taking up for him, and Gene Dill stuck his neck out there for you about, you know, everything. Even down to Kirk Burroughs saying that Diddy Glover slapped you, and Gene was saying what he would have done if he would have saw you had done that with his own two eyes. This is pure survival, guys. Salute to the 1,500, 1,400 people in the building. Smash that like button. Share this video. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. We are surviving Miss Janice, Diddy Glover's mother, um, allegedly um, threatening to sue Jean Dill for exposing Diddy Glover and Usher's love affair. The alleged love affair. Secret alleged love affair. And uh, Usher, just understand, dude, whenever you're ready to make a confessions part five, or I don't know how many parts of confession it is, the only confession song you need to come out with, sir, is, is the, the Diddy Glover's allegations. I'm ready for the record. Man, I'm grown and I don't know what to do, but I got to give part five of my confessions. If I'm going to tell it, then I got to tell it all. I used to let Diddy get us out of my drawers. I don't know what I'm going to do, but give you part five of my confessions.